let's go to the high school ranks. We're going to loop back to the pros in a second, but high school, whoops, boys, 3200, Sundown Track Series number two, Colin Salmon, last seen smashing the four minute barrier in New York, now runs 833 for 3200. Gordon, where does that match up all time? Because there's some two mile marks, there's some 3K marks, there's some 3200 marks. Where does this sit for you? All time. So if you include uh, two mile conversions, so only including two miles, not three Ks, it's the fourth yeah. fastest 3200 ever. So Lucas Verspikis ran a two mile that converted to 826 for 3200. German Fernandez ran 831 in 2008. Jeff Nelson 19, in 1979 ran 833. And now Colin Solomon, number four all time with his 833. Three seconds faster than Hobbs Kessler last year. Three seconds faster than Ed Cheserek in 2013. Three seconds faster than Lindgren. You know, five seconds faster than Centro. And Leo Young, who was in this race, who ran 839, is now 11th all time. So okay. number four and number 11 all time in the 3,200 meter ranks in this one race from the senior and the junior. And there's a lot of, you know, Number 12 all time is Nico Young, which is interesting. So now three of the top 12 are from Newberry Park yeah. in the past two years. It is incredible. And when you also look at, you can think about, is it the shoes? Three of the past 12 are from Newberry Park, but five of the past 12 are from 2020 to 2022. Because you throw in Hobbs Kessler from last yeah. year and Nathan Mountain, who in who low key in 2021 ran 8:39. So, uh, but 8:33, you're up there, and the you're getting closer to the German Fernandez, Lucas Verspikis category, which, as we know, yeah. those were all time high school greats. Um, and Colin Solomon doing this, they ran those times in like June, like at the end of their seasons when they're yeah. peaking at the peak of all their peaks. Colin Solomon is still like building up. So I have to imagine when it's all said and done, you know, four months from now, he should be yeah. running in the 820s for 3,200. He closed in 59, so I think he's sharp now. But I'm fascinated by how their season is going. It's almost oriented like a college season. I mean, their cross-country season went late. California goes late as is, but then they ran running lane. And then now they're running just super fast indoors, almost as – in the same way a college team would be to try to qualify for NCAAs. I mean, in their indoor season, they're running these outdoor meets, but they're running during the indoor season because California traditionally didn't have much going on during these months because not a lot of indoor facilities and not a lot of desire to run indoors. Indoor track isn't sponsored there. So this is, this is new, and I'm curious to see how it works. These guys, obviously, we've said all we can really say about how on another level this whole group is, but – yeah, I wonder what the racing schedule is going to be like for the coming months. To be, uh, to be quite honest, because I don't know, like, how do you, how do you keep this going? What is the actual peak? Is the peak some, for some all star meet in in June? Is it for the state meet? Is it something earlier than that? Because eight thirty three, you're raring to go right now. I mean, it's if it's, this isn't him fully ready to roll, I, it's scary what he's going to be able to do when he's when he's rested and ready. Well, you know, now I'm sure they're not even thinking state meet anymore or even, you know, New Balance Nas Nationals, Brooks PR type races anymore. Now I'm thinking they should start considering, hey, let's try to chase U.S. championship standards. Let's try to potentially even chase a world standard if they could get there. It's kind of crazy to think they could get a world standard. But um, yeah, I think – they may be setting their set their eyes on trying to qualify for USA's. Now I'm not; they're not definitely not in the the world to make a world team this year. But if they can make USA's and just have that experience as a true high school kid and mm -hmm. uh, run with the pros, that'd be pretty cool. I think there is World Juniors this year. So is there, is there World Juniors? I don't know if there's World Juniors. Twenty twenty two World. There's USA well, Juniors, so maybe. Maybe they, they go for USA Juniors, but they're now probably thinking, let's try to get a qualifier mark for USA's, you know, in, whether it's in yeah. the 15 or the 5K, which I'm sure is what there are. 
Yeah, there's U twenties this year. Yeah, there's U twenties in Columbia. Um, what's the record for most high schoolers from one team qualifying for a U.S. championship? I'm just kidding. I'm sure the record is one, and they'll break sure. it because they'll do more than one. Uh, I was kidding. Apparently, in the mile split interview, uh, Salman said they could have gone faster, but the pacer was slow. You know, because <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The pacer threw Easy miles pacer. slow. Oh, I guess. Oh, Lyle's was... brothers. Those two yeah. from one high school. So they'll break it with three because right. they'll have the 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 Youngs and uh, Sol- the Salmons and the Youngs. So they could probably get four in. It's insane. Yeah. Do this whole yeah, thing. I don't – I just – like it doesn't seem real. I know everyone's like – it feel, it's like it's, it's becoming comical how quick they are. Like these type mm. of performances should be once in a decade type runs and they're doing it. Yeah. Week in, week out, all on the same team. And it's like, how is this possible? And I just want to know, is this going to be repeatable? Like, is there going to be someone three years from now, four years from now, where there'll be a group of kids from th- from the same school who are running like these top 10 type marks? Because you do know a factor is the shoes. Like, shoes is a reason why kids are able to run faster. But they're running faster than beyond the shoes because – you know, you don't yeah, give, relative to the competition, they're faster. Yeah, relative to the competition. He's still running eight thirty three and everyone else is running, you know, yeah, eight fifties. Yeah. So um I just want to know if, if this is something we'll never see again, or is this something that is we can come a, a new trend every four years we have another group of a class of kids who are like we're At running this school out or of any, our minds. any school. From a school, from a specific school. Yeah. Well, it's a little different because, you know, college, you can recruit, right? So yeah. you can accumulate talent a lot easier. High school, I mean, I know every state has their different regulations, but it's it's harder to pull that much talent together in one place at the same time. We've seen dynasties in high school before, and obviously sometimes in, in those situations, parents are willing to like relocate to put their kids in a school where – there's other good runners or the program is solid, but usually that's fleeting that lasts for a couple of years and then it goes to a different place. Yeah. And then it goes, you know, because at a certain point, the amount of commitment is just, um, there's a shelf life to it, right. Of, of the amount of people that can, can stay in one spot. So with high school, with college, you can see some, you know, see stuff like this going on forever, but high school is just totally, totally different. And they're also setting a bar now that they themselves would have to clear. So if in four years, Newberry Park has a bunch of guys run 858, well, every other year we'd say that's nuts. And they'd be like, well, that's like way off of the 2022 Newberry team. Like what, yeah. what, what's, what, what's the big deal? So they're, they're going to be their own uh, competition moving forward. But I think this is unique. You convinced me a couple weeks ago that this is this is unique this isn't the new normal and the reason i say that is just because you take the shoes out of it you take the amount of all-star meets out of it that are available that didn't used to be there and it's how are they doing relative to the rest of the country and when you're when you're telling me that the salmons plus the youngs are in the top five in the nation well that's that doesn't have anything to do with different technology yeah. they all have the technology True. right and they, and most of them have access to all these meets and they're just better than them so the question you got to say is will they ever